Well, folks, welcome back to stlouisblues.com, and uh, we are here in Detroit. Why are we in Detroit? Well, that's the way the schedule makers put it there, but I'll tell you something, a special night for the St. Louis Blues as Bill Guerin is going to be playing in game number 1,000 of his career. So he joins us here on stlouisblues.com. And, Bill, uh, you think about how many different times you've gone to the rink, whether it be morning skates, uh, all the games uh, leading up to your NHL career, uh, the time playing youth hockey in, in Massachusetts, uh, that's a lot of trips onto the ice, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And... Uh... You know, I've enjoyed every one of them. This is, um, you know, this is a big milestone for me. I, I think, uh, you know, every player, uh, you know, wants to get to this point and, you know, just proves that you have some staying power, some longevity, and, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big thing. It's, it's been a lot of fun playing in the NHL, and, uh, you know, hopefully there's a lot more games to come. It is kind of amazing when you think of guys playing a 1,000 games and the different styles of hockey that guys play. It blows my mind more to see guys like yourself or like Dallas Drake reach 900 games, things like that. When you you play that physical style, it's hard on the body. Yeah, it, it's tough at times, and uh, you know, I, I guess if you really look at guys, they they probably could have reached it a lot sooner if they didn't play that style. But you know, you you are what you are, and, and you have to play that way every night. And uh, if you miss a game here or there, that that happens too. But um, like I said, uh, this is uh, it's very special for me right now. It is a milestone, a personal one. Uh, I know the team's still battling to try and uh, keep in that playoff race and claw their way up, but is this a milestone that, that you've thought of over the last a little while as it starts to approach? Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you see it uh, kind of creeping up. You don't really talk about it uh, because, uh, you know, you don't want to jinx anything, but... Uh, um, yeah, you, you know what's coming up, and uh, like I said, it, for players, this is a, a really special thing, and um, to look back and, and to, you know, if, if you're going to look back and think about all the players that you've played with, the teams that you've been on, and the great things and uh, the not-so-great things that have happened in, in your career, that, uh, I mean, all the things that just make it really special to be a player in the NHL. You were telling us before, uh, your family's going to get an opportunity to come up and see the game? Absolutely. Uh, my wife and kids are coming up, and uh, they're gonna they'll watch the game here in Detroit, and then uh, fly home with us on, on the on the team charter. And uh, they're very excited about it. Uh, my wife's been uh, you know uh, a big help to me, kind of like my personal shrink during, <laughs> during my career. So uh, you know she she should be here, and uh, my kids are thrilled about it. I think they're more excited about the plane trip home than than the actual game. <laughs> You need to be able just to get in the air and fly on an airplane with Dad. That's more important. Absolutely. That, and, it, and it's a big thrill for me, too, to have them here. Uh, you know, that obviously, they're, they're the most important thing in the world to me. And uh, But just to have them here on a big night like tonight and, uh, you know, just to be able to participate is, is uh, you know, it's, it's great for me. Outside of winning the Stanley Cup, and that's obviously with the biggest thrill for someone playing in the game of hockey, is there a game or two that stands out in your mind uh, for any particular reason outside of the obvious one of winning the Cup? Um, not, not really. I guess your first game is always... Uh, you know, uh, one that really sticks out, and uh, for me, that was in in the old Chicago Stadium, uh, and uh, you know, I needed a, you know, it was a, a quick, quick reality check and a, and a big wake up call when that national anthem started, and uh, I, I was uh, happy, nervous, and and scared to death all at the same time, and uh, you know, it was uh, it was it was a great night. My dad flew in for that, and. Uh, it was it was it was unbelievable, and I took a penalty on my first shift, so I didn't know if I was going to get another one after that. <laughs> Do you remember what the penalty was? It was uh, cross checking, and it was against Jocelyn Lemieux, <laughs> and uh, it was a long two minutes. <laughs> so they killed the penalty. That's the important part. Yes, they did. Yeah, they bailed me out. You know what? You go through all those games, and you go through those different scenarios. Your first game. Do you still get excited on a game day like here it is today? We're playing the Detroit Red Wings. Do you still kind of get the energy when you get up in the morning, going, "Hey, I get to go to the rink and, and play some hockey." Absolutely. I mean, game day is the best. It's, uh, you know, this is this is why we do it. And uh, you know, practice days, not so much. But game days are great. I mean, uh, you know, you, you go through your, your, your daily routine of, you know, going down on the road and having breakfast with a couple guys and then getting to the rink early and getting ready for the game. And, and then, uh, you know, 7, 7.30, it's, it's game time. And, and that's what we all dreamed about when we were kids. And, and you have to, uh, you know, appreciate every day you're in it and savor every moment. And, uh, 
you know, I still get the butterflies before games, and uh, it's still a lot of fun. Well, we've had some ups and downs this season, no doubt about that, and uh, there's still a lot of hockey to be played. We'll see how things wind up. But either way, as Blues fans, it's proud to, to have you play game number 1,000 as a St. Louis Blue. Congratulations. Uh, thanks very much, and uh, I'm very happy about uh, doing it here in St. Louis. Uh, uh, with a you know a, a great bunch of teammates, I couldn't ask for better better teammates than, than I have right now. Folks, that's Bill Guerin. Check out stlouisblues.com for more. Don't forget the Blues and the Red Wings tonight.